We are joined now by uh, the, uh, there she is, Anne Whittacombe, former Conservative Minister. Um, that, you served in the Home Office, didn't you, Anne? Yes, I was a Home Office Minister, Alistair. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, so before getting into the hard, raw politics of it, as it were, the thing that a lot of people are saying to me on Twitter is, how can Durham make one judgment on the basis of similar evidence and the Met make another judgment on the basis of similar evidence? Um, I mean, very good question. I don't understand the decision, but that apart, um, police uh, forces operate as independent units um, and they answer for their own operations. Uh, they make their own decisions uh, as to what they send to the CPS and, and what automatic crimes they levy. Uh, so you can get two police forces making completely different decisions uh, in what look like, at any rate, on the surface, remarkably similar circumstances. So I'm afraid it's just a, a product of the system. That's why in some areas you get the police concentrating very heavily on small crime like things like wolf whistling, and in other areas uh, you get the police um, taking a completely different policy and seeing a bigger picture. That's why. And do you think that the party Conservative Central Office will want to know a little bit more about this and maybe try and appeal that decision in any way, if, we, if they can? I think that if we were not in the situation that we're in at the moment, um, the answer to that is yes, uh, they almost certainly would. Um, but at the moment, I think the Conservative Party is very badly wounded. It's got its own internal chaos, whether it wants to spend time mm. uh, arguing about beer gate. I, I, I would have thought that unlikely, but... Yeah. Frankly, you never know. <laughs> uh, wounded badly, you just said, almost as a throwaway line, Anne. Self-inflicted yeah. wounds. Uh, totally self-inflicted wounds. So the Prime Minister, chaotic, never got a grip on the chaos. Um, the party, hysterical, never got a grip on the hysteria. Um, I have been saying, and I, I don't mean it as some sort of silly joke, I actually do mean it, that the worst possible result after the next general election would be a Labour government. But frankly, the second worst result is the stop running the country. They are making an incredible mess of it, despite having a huge mandate from the public. An incredible mess of it.